What's up guys, it's Harleywood, welcome back. All right, we're gonna answer today a long burning question in the firearms community. How many iPads will a 45 ACP go through? Not just any 45 ACP, today we're gonna use a Winchester Black Talon. So very popular in the 80s. And we're gonna be shooting it through the new XTAR EP45. So perhaps the more burning question is, well, what the heck is the EP45? So several weeks back, we took a look at the EP9 from XSTAR. I'm gonna put a card right up here on the screen if you wanna go check that video out. The EP45 is next in the lineup. So nine millimeter versus 45 ACP. Uh, the EP45 has a six and a half inch barrel, comes threaded five eighths by 24, and comes with your standard Glock 21, 13 round magazine. I know you're probably like, well, wait a minute, what the heck is this thing? So this is a Glock 21 magazine up top with a Chris Vector extension on the bottom, all right? I'll post a link down in the description if you wanna get one of those. This thing is just shy of 24 inches long and weighs four and a half pounds with the magazine. And you may be asking yourself, well, how do they get it down to four and a half pounds? So the receiver group is polymer, all right? So it's not your traditional, you know, billet or aluminum. So they shave a little bit of weight with that. It also has a reciprocating charging handle, so it does reciprocate as you fire through the weapon. Now, currently, these are shipping with this padded buffer tube, okay? With all of the ATF pistol brace stuff going on, they're playing it safe at the moment and shipping it like this. However, depending on how that goes, there are also options to add on either stabilizing braces or if you wanted to SPR this, you could go ahead and do that with it also. It is a single stage mil spec trigger from an AR-15. Your fire control group is from an AR-15. Your bolt release is from an AR-15. So it's gonna be very familiar to what you're used to. And it does also have a kind of unique mag release on the right side of it. All right, but enough about that. Let's see how many iPads. Here we go. Now I left all of those cases on there because I think if I just did the naked iPads, it would have ripped right through them. So let's go see the damage. All right, first one, what? Are you kidding me? Second one. Okay. <laughs> so the one that was in the back is untouched. First one, clean hole, blew out the back. Second one, pretty clean hole. I don't necessarily know that the whole bullet went out the back, but there is a bunch of debris in that third one and no pass through. I did not expect that. All right, and for shits and giggles, let's try a full metal jacket. And we'll pick a little bit different spot. Yep. Well. <laughs> Damn. All right. So it hit right there. There's the first shot. I had it turned over. So there's the first shot. Went through. Second one, hit right there. Passed through. Third one, hit right there. No pass through on the full metal jacket either. This guy continues to live. I mean, that last shot, you can't even really tell, but it barely cracked the screen protector that's on there. But this is the one with all my feet pictures, so. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna cut it. Yeah. 
hit it almost the same place again. Holy crap. I guess that went through. <laughs> All right, so that's it, guys. I cannot post a link in the description below to where to get this, so you're gonna have to do your own due diligence there. At the time of filming this video, here's the other beautiful thing. This thing is less than $500. Now, by contrast, I have a CMMG Guard. It's the very first CMMG I ever got. It's the Guard 45, they're called the Banshee now. And that Joker, I think they're still running mid-teens, you know, 15, 16, 1700, something like that, depending on, you know, which package you get. So 500 bucks versus three times that, that's hard to beat, man. Now, I have run less than 300 rounds through this thing. By no means is it an exhaustive test, but I've had zero failures, not one. I didn't even lube this thing when I got it out of the box. I slapped a mag in it and went to town. Not a single failure. And if you were watching closely, you might have noticed in some of that shooting footage that there was occasional smiles on my face. The recoil impulse on this is actually really nice. I mean, it's a 45, so it's got this boom, boom. Ooh, not the not the nine millimeter ones. Like bam, bam, bam. It's got this nice kind of push. Really easy to get back on target. This buffer spring system absorbs almost all of that recoil. This thing is a blast to shoot. And that's it, guys. The EP45 from XStar. Unfortunately, I can't link to it. You're gonna have to find it on your own. If you like this video, do me a favor. Give it a subscribe. Give it a like down below. The more likes you give videos, the further they tend to go in the search algorithms, all right? So YouTube tends to promote them and show them to other people who like content similar to what you like. But I'd appreciate that if you did it. Appreciate your time watching. Lots more content to come, and I'll see you in the next one.